Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you the chain brake configuration on a steel MS-291 chainsaw. And here's the chainsaw, and it won't matter if you have the MS-291 or the 291C, it's the same configuration. Now you will find the chain brake configuration under this plastic piece, which I will remove. Make sure to bookmark this video in case you ever have to replace the chain brake handle here or any parts underneath the plastic piece. Now to get in there, you need to remove three T20 Torx screws. Now if you ever need to replace any of these parts, you can take a picture or just refer to my video. So I'm going to start at the bottom here where the brake band is screwed onto the chainsaw. Again, there's another T20 Torx screw that holds the brake band to the body of the chainsaw. The spring goes around the clutch drum and then it exits over here to connect on this shaft and you'll see a small e-clip here. This part connects to the chain brake handle. Now if you look underneath here there's another shaft or some kind of mechanism that is clipped in with an e-clip on a shaft as well. It's got a small spring that's connected to it. And the small spring connects to a shaft on the body of the chainsaw, which is located right under this part here where my screwdriver is. If you look at it from this angle over here, you can see the other part is underneath this part here that holds the spring and the brake band. And also you'll notice this part underneath is leaning right against the plastic part of the brake handle. And then this spring goes and hooks on to another shaft over here. So what I'll do right now is give you another quick rundown on the configuration. So again, I'll start right at the bottom where the brake band is screwed onto the chainsaw body. It wraps around the clutch drum. It exits over here. It connects to this part right there. That part is secured on a shaft with an E-clip. And you can notice underneath that part that I just showed you, there's another part, which is this one right here. Also take note of this part here, how it's leaning against the brake band handle. This is very important when you install a new brake handle because you have to make sure that this is pulled back to be over the plastic part like this. And there's a small spring connected to that part, which is connected to a small shaft up here on the chainsaw body as well. And this part over here actually goes inside the chain brake handle, just like that. And it does have a hole on it that will go onto the shaft as you put the brake handle onto the shaft as well. So what you have to do when you install the new brake handle is insert the metal part inside the brake handle and then simultaneously install it on the shaft. And that's all there is for the chain brake configuration on your steel MS-291 chainsaw. And I've also made other chainsaw chain brake video configurations. They're up here. You can click there to see them. The links are also underneath the video as well. Make sure you bookmark them because you just never know when you're working on a saw, especially if a customer brings it to you in a box where they've often tried to put it back together, but they weren't able to. It just comes in very handy to have a reference. And also please comment if you get a lot of customers in your shop that bring chainsaws with the chain brake mechanisms all in pieces. I'd like to hear your story. Thanks again for watching and make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and have a great day.